So we just left Burger's Smokehouse, and like I said, they sent me home with tons of amazing stuff, including this country ham. And this is the traditional country ham that hangs for many, many days. In fact, they hang it for over 90, and it develops tons of amazing flavor, including flavor from all that great smoke. So I wanted to come up with a way to really use this product that would enhance the flavor, but not just be a ham steak like you see you know, for breakfast with some red eye gravy, although that is pretty amazing. This is a very traditional Southern style approach. We're gonna be making spoon bread, which essentially is a souffle, except when you call it spoon bread, it's a lot less intimidating. You're gonna see it's actually pretty easy. And we're going to be using whole milk, stone ground grits, tons of wonderful eggs, aged cheddar, and of course, this country ham. So this is our ham steak. And if you were just gonna throw it in a hot pan and serve it with some grits and some hot coffee, that would be perfectly fine. But I am gonna dice this up. I'm gonna take the rind off, because it is a little bit tough. And you'll see that there still is that wonderful bone. That's a big part of where this very traditionally country cured ham gets its flavor. That and all the time spent in those drying racks. So I'm just gonna take the bone out, and I'm just gonna dice it up. I'm gonna go ahead and separate out my eggs. I have six total eggs. I need three yolks and three whites. Put my yolks in there, and I'm gonna put my whites in my stand mixer. I'm gonna whip them up. While this is going, I'm going to whisk these three egg yolks until they're nice and light yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna shift over here. So I have three cups of whole milk, and you really do want the whole milk because you want the flavor that the fat brings to the dish. A little bit of salt, a couple grinds of pepper, and I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. And once it does reach the boiling point, then we're gonna add in one cup of stone ground grits. You can use non-stone ground if that's all you can find, but for flavor and texture, stone ground is definitely the way you wanna go. Now I'm gonna stir in four tablespoons of butter because it's not rich enough already, and one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. You want it to have a good punch of flavor, and then that wonderful dry-aged ham. So here I have my beaten egg yolks, and if you've ever seen the word tempering used in a recipe, that's what we're gonna do with these egg yolks, and essentially you add a little bit of the hot mixture to the egg yolks and mix it together. The idea is that you don't want the egg yolks to cook, and so you gradually add in the hot ingredient. Once you've added a good amount, then you can add all of it. And next, we're gonna fold in our stiffly beaten egg whites. This is what is going to give the souffle that beautiful height and light texture. I'm gonna pour this into a prepared pan and all that means is that I've buttered the dish. And then I'm gonna put it in a 375 degree oven until it's puffy and golden. It's probably gonna take about 25 minutes. And there you go. You can really smell the beautiful sweetness of the corn and the funkiness of that ham and then that beautiful cheddar. I can't wait to dig in, but I have to let it rest. And as it rests for a little bit, it is going to deflate. So don't feel like you did something wrong when this beautiful puffy golden spoon bread comes out of the oven and then kind of sinks in once it cools down. That's, that's normal and it's going to happen. I'm gonna go ahead and pour myself a glass of wine while I'm waiting. This happens to be by Lachance Vineyards in Augusta, 
This is a Doré, which is a new hybrid that is being grown here in Missouri. And the Doré grape is similar to a Chardonnay. This has a beautiful kind of acidic nose, a really bright character to it. It's gonna be a really good pair with this rich spoon bread. That's wonderful. You have that sweetness of the grits, but the really beautiful, smoky, pungent flavor of that Burger's Smokehouse ham, it just goes throughout the entire dish. I'm gonna stand here and eat this spoon bread, and I'll see you next time.